Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It is Tuesday, the first day of November 2022. We are starting the month off here, the last month of the hurricane season. On the busy side, we've got Tropical Storm Lisa in the Caribbean Sea. It is starting to strengthen now. And then we've got 96L up here to the north and east of Bermuda. If we look at this from the five-day perspective and take a look at the text product there, yes, shower and thunderstorm activity continues to show signs of organization and association with this area of low pressure. And it is gradually acquiring these tropical characteristics, more thunderstorms concentrated near the center of low pressure. And even though it's over marginally warm enough water temperatures, it is likely to become a tropical or maybe a subtropical storm. The subtropical part means that the energy is just a little bit more spread out, sort of a hybrid system. Either way, it looks like that could happen in the next few hours, so sometime later today. All right, so here is the satellite animation of the entire North Atlantic Basin. There's Lisa over in the Caribbean with deeper thunderstorm activity. We'll take a closer up look at that in just a moment. And then there's 96L up in the Atlantic there, north and east of Bermuda, and it is starting to gradually acquire better organization. Those thunderstorms located around the center. Let's zoom in here. You can see that. That deep convection wrapping around the center a little bit more. Yep, that's the telltale sign that this is getting better organized and could become Tropical Storm Martin. And uh, it could do that by later on this afternoon. Subtropical possible, but I think that's pretty concentrated. The wind and the energy and the lowest pressure, etc., all around the center there. My money's on the fact that this becomes Tropical Storm Martin by uh, maybe later this morning. We'll see about that. All right, here is the track for Lisa headed towards Belize here over the next couple of days, Wednesday into Thursday. It'll bring a lot of heavy rain. Coastal flooding, of course, for those areas. Beautiful coral reefs right off the coast of Belize there. Forecast to become a hurricane still, and it is getting better organized now. We can see that on the satellite view this morning. Deep thunderstorms starting to wrap in there. The outflow is improving in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And the main inhibitor right now is still some dry air that needs to be mixed out. And I think once that happens, this could take off and become a solid hurricane before reaching Belize Wednesday into Thursday. Meanwhile, looking at the tracks here, generally speaking, still pretty tightly clustered into Belize. The H wharf, that's the HWFI, the purple line you see there. It's a little bit on the north side of the guidance envelope. Otherwise, the rest of the guidance looks like it is headed into the central part of Belize. The H wharf there just on the north side of that guidance envelope. And then later in the period, there's a much larger spread in the model guidance, but that would be with what is the remnant circulation of Lisa after landfall. Looking at the GFS, the operational model here, there goes Lisa into Belize there by Wednesday into Thursday. And then up there, north and east of Bermuda, yes, that's our next system there. Probably going to be Martin, like I said, later today. Pretty unusual. It's been sort of that on again, off again, on again, off again, all season long. The system's kind of difficult for the models to pick out. It's just been one of those years. And uh, it looks like we're going to start the month here with Lisa and Martin at the same time. I'll go over all of this and more in much greater detail during my Hurricane Outlook and Discussion video. I'll post that later this afternoon. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. Again, I am Mark Suddeth. I'll be back with you in a few hours.